Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio Code. And the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So we are going to click on this link, which will redirect us to this page. Here you will be able to see a uh, download Mac universal you also have the options for windows and linux but we are on the mac operating system so we can just click on this download button once you click on uh, the download button you will see that this visual studio code zip file will be downloaded so we are going to uh, just click on this uh, zip file which is going to extract this zip file and then it's going to look like this so the extracted visual studio code uh, icon is visible here so you can directly open visual studio code from here so when i click on visual studio code it's going to open right but we want to transfer this visual studio code application into our applications folder so from the next time we will be able to use that uh, from our launchpad or the applications folder. So for that, right click on the finder here and then open a new window for the finder and then click on the applications folder and just drag and drop this Visual Studio Code application. So what you need to do is just select the Visual Studio Code application from here, press command key and then drag and drop this uh, icon into your applications folder so just drag and drop into the applications folder and now this is copied into the applications folder once you copy the visual studio app in your applications folder you will be able to open the launchpad and then you will be able to see the visual studio code icon here so from the next time you can open it from the launchpad now we can close all these things. Let's launch Visual Studio Code from here. And when you open the Visual Studio Code, it's going to look like this. Now using Visual Studio Code is really simple. If you want to open a directory, you can just click on File and then click on Open and then open any folder from here. You might also want to open the Visual Studio Code using the terminal. So when I open the terminal, when I click on this uh, spotlight and then search for the terminal and open the terminal, and when I give this code command and then press enter, it says ZSH command not found for the code application. So our terminal right now doesn't recognizes the code command. So how we can fix this? So let me uh, quit from this terminal and then what you need to do is just open your visual studio code and then press command shift p so press command shift p and then type here shell commands okay so just type shell command here and you will see two commands one is uninstall code command from path and other is install code command in path so first of all, we are going to click on the second option, which says uninstall code command in path. So I'm going to just uh, press on this option and then click on OK. Once that's done, once again, press command shift P and then once again, write shell command here. So shell command and this time press on this option, which says install code command in path. OK, so first uninstall and then click on install code command in path. So I'm going to click on this uh, option and it says code will now prompt with OSA script for administrator privileges to install the shell command. So I'm going to click on OK here and then you need to provide your MacBook's password which you use to log into your MacBook. So let me provide that and then press on OK. And once that's done, you can see shell command code successfully installed in path. So once that's done, you can open the terminal once again. So quit the terminal and when you reopen the terminal again, so let me reopen the terminal and then 
now you will be able to use the code command so when i write code here and then press enter it's going to open the visual studio code so now this is the way to set the path of visual studio code in your zsh path so that it recognizes the code command so now let's say let me close this visual studio code editor from here and then if I open the terminal and let's say I will cd into my documents folder. So let me cd into the documents folder. And here I have a few directories and I want to open the my project directory using Visual Studio Code. I can just cd into my projects directory and then I can write code space dot which is going to open the my projects directory in the code application. So I'm going to press enter. And then you can see it opens my project into Visual Studio Code. And here you can see it says, do you trust the author of the files in the folder? I will click yes here. And I can also click on this checkbox. And if I check this checkbox from the next time, it's going to trust the document folder. So I'm going to press yes here. And now you can see this project is open. This project is about uh, Hello World Java program. So you can see uh, I can open the hello.java file. Whenever you uh, open any program file in Visual Studio Code, if Visual Studio finds the extension pack for that language, it's going to suggest you to install the extension pack for that language. As in this case, you can see it's recommending us to install the Java language pack. So you can install that uh, from the extension. So here you can see right now we are in the Explorer. You can also search for some words. For example, I want to search for hello here. So it searches for the hello keyword in all the files in the present directory. If I want to replace the word, then I can replace also. And if you your project contain multiple uh, directories, then you can include or exclude the search from a certain directory using these two options. If you are using Git version control, then you can also see the version control uh, changes in this Git section. You also have the debug section. And then you also have the extensions section. As I mentioned, there are some popular extension for each and every language. For example, you can see this uh, Python support. So if you want to develop Python, then uh, you can uh, install this extension, which is from Microsoft itself. And it was downloaded around 106 million times. So it's the most popular for Python. C++ uh, extension is there. And similarly, you will find the support for each and every language in the extensions. For example, if I want to uh, search for Java, it's going to search for Java pack. And then it's going to uh, suggest you the extensions related to Java. So this is how you can download and install Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system and use it to develop your favorite programming language. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.